All right, good morning, everybody. So in this video, I kind of want to share something that I've really been neglecting to go over in all the videos that, that I've put out so far regarding my entire uh, inverter off-grid experience. So it's been about six months since I've uh, really brought the first component of this system online. And in that six months, I've been trying to document my uh, experiences, whether they be positive or negative, whether they be, you know, successes or issues, failures, whatever. And in that time, you know, I've seen the channel kind of grow to, honestly, to a place that I never thought it would be. And I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's... I'm still just a little guy um, and I don't plan on doing this you know to explode and get huge and, and all that kind of stuff but uh, I think I'm just over 700 subscribers you know 700 crazy people that actually feel like I have something that's worth watching so thank you for that I, I, I don't know why you're following along but we all have our own issues so <laughs> I guess yours is deciding to follow along with me <laughs> and watch that subscriber count just drop 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 before I dig that hole any deeper let's move on there's been something that I really have not included in really any of my any of my videos and it's becoming more and more of an issue and I feel like I kind of need to address it and that's the support that I've received from Signature Sold. I have, have been working with quite a few people over there, some positive experiences, some negative. I can tell you right now that their support has a whole lot to be desired. And the reason that I'm trying to share this right now is because having, having the channel continue to grow where it is, I feel like I'm kind of doing anybody that watches my videos a disservice if I'm not really talking about problems that I have in dealing with the company itself. Um, I would hate for somebody to watch my videos and see some of these positive experiences and think that everything's great and only hear me mention in passing that, yeah, I'm working with a tech on this issue or yeah, I've got a ticket open with that issue, but not really explaining anything other than that. And then, you know, people think, oh, well, everything's great. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase something based on what they see from me then they have to have some kind of support and they end up having to go through some of the issues that I've had and so I I, I guess I just I, I want to be clear that if you're having issues with signature solo you're not the only one because trust me I am as well I don't really know what their problems are I would assume huge influx of support requests but it also seems like it's potentially a lack of knowledge in in a lot of the people that are working in support i know i've had tickets and issues open with signature solar since november and the ticket's been passed around to i'm now on my third tech uh the first one i was working with in november after some back and forth and some successful communications ended up just stop responding and then the second tech that got the ticket after i had complained to somebody uh, i had one message from that tech i sent one message and then that was it weeks went by and and no response and now i'm on my third tech in regards to these issues and to be honest in full disclosure this is the third revision of this video. I was probably 36 hours away from releasing a very different version of this video. And I finally got the start of some of the answers to some of the questions from November answered last night. They are only initial answers. I have sent back my responses, so now I have to wait and see how long it takes for those uh, responses to get answered. It's really unacceptable to be able to have to wait 
what is this? November, December, January, February, March. So four and a half to five months to get answers to questions. I have had on at least four separate occasions, someone from Signature Solar say, hey, let's schedule a call. And I say, all right, great. I'm gonna free up some time. What time would you like to schedule the call for? And then I never get a response after that. The, the communication issues are, are overly apparent. I understand, in, in, especially in the, the tech world, that things can take a long time to work through. And when you've got a lot of tickets and a lot of emails to go through, you know, it can take some time. And I know my company has spoiled me because our company prides itself on trying to get some kind of a response out within 24 hours. Usually it's within a couple hours, even, it's a, if, even if the response is, hey, I'm gonna look into this and let you know. Or, hey, I'm still looking at this. Hey, haven't forgotten about you, still looking at it. To at least let you know that the message got received and it's still in front of you. But with Signature Solar, I don't know. I really don't know what to say. I could go weeks without getting a confirmation message that my message was even received and didn't get into somebody's spam box. I can't say that I've only had these problems with technicians. It seems like I've had some of these problems with people that seem to be in management as well. So you're not alone if you're having issues getting messages, getting messages answered. I know when I used to call into support, I, I don't anymore. It's not worth my time. But it was half hour, 45 minutes on hold. I don't have 45 minutes to kill. So then I send an email. And if I get a response to that email, sometimes it's only a one-way response because if I try to send a message back, I don't get anything back. I mean, I'll, I will say I have had a few successful back and forth messages from various people at Signature Solar. But when it comes time to schedule a call, nothing. With my list of questions, uh, since November, I mean, obviously it, it took four and a half months to finally get a response. It seems like it's very easy for you to get forgotten. And then from the, the, the end user perspective, the person that sent the message in, you just feel like you're getting ignored. You, you don't get an update. You don't get a, hey, I haven't forgotten about you. You don't get a, even an auto responder. I'd take an auto response. If somebody goes on vacation or has a family medical emergency, I have no problem with that. Everybody has family emergencies. Everybody goes on vacation. That's great. You need the time off. You need to work with your family stuff and get that taken care of. But you can't leave your customers in the complete dark. I mean, we've had email autoresponders for how many decades now? I, I could go into a lot of detail, but it's not worth it. But I just wanted to let you guys know, because I've seen the comments, I've seen the forum threads, you're not alone. It happens to, to me as well. As I stated earlier, this, this is my third revision to this video. Now I will give credit to where credit's due. Again, I have had several back and forth. I have had some questions answered. If they're simple questions, but as soon as I get a uh, little more complex questions, I really don't get responses. Maybe that's why I'm getting passed around so much because they're, they're too complicated to be answered. I didn't think asking a question about a change log would be that complicated or, or trying to figure out the absorption time frame on the inverters would be that complicated. And I will give credit that back in December-ish, I had one of their resolution specialists reach out to me directly and say, hey, due to some of the issues that you've been experiencing, we want to RMA and replace your inverters. And I thought, well, that's great. I didn't, I didn't ask for that. I honestly, when, when I got that email, I didn't even know which issues they were talking about. And they were just saying the issues as a whole, you know, kind of the questions that I was trying to get answered that I couldn't, <laughs> but they, they did that on their own. 
And so, you know, my hats are off to him for that. I know someone from Signature Solar is going to be watching this. And what I would say to you guys is, I hope you really get your stuff straightened out. You've got to figure out this communication thing. You guys keep pumping out a lot of good stuff. You've got pretty decent pricing. And I would love to be able to easily recommend you to other people. But this communication thing, this, this support issue has got to get fixed. I mean, people, if they're like me, the reason that they're buying from you is because, yeah, you've got good prices and stuff like that, but it's a US-based company and you're hoping to get US-based support. I mean, that was one of the big things that, you know, really drew me to the 6500s, because otherwise I was going the LV6548s. The higher PV was a nice bonus, but the fact that I could get these from a US-based company and hopefully get support from that company was very appealing to me. And that's kind of come back to bite me. This, this video has probably turned out to be a rant. Trust me, it could go much, much longer. <laughs> I could get into so much detail, but again, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth your time. We're, we're already probably a longer video than most of you want to watch anyways. It's not worth my time rehashing everything out. So you're not alone. If you're experiencing issues, it's happening to me too. And Signature Solar, I hope you guys get things squared out real quick. You gotta get your people all on the same page. You've gotta get your communication issues resolved to where you respond to customers in a timely manner, even if it's just to say, I'm still looking at it. I haven't found it yet, but I'm still looking. That little sentence, that little reminder to an end user who's waiting for some support means a whole lot more than you actually think it does because you don't feel forgotten. You don't feel ignored. I kind of felt like I was doing some folks a disservice by not accurately representing my entire experience from the hardware and the software standpoint to the support standpoint. And so that's kind of why I made this video. Honestly, I've been mulling this video over for months, or this, this type of a video for months, trying to decide whether I should or shouldn't do something like this. And I just felt like it's kind of time. I had to put something out. I, really, I hope you're not experiencing the same issues that I am. I hope you're having, you know, great experience with Signature Solar. And with that, folks, I'm gonna let you go. Y'all stay safe. Stay warm. Ooh, it's getting warmer outside. And we'll catch up with you later.